Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering how to search for and obtain remote jobs. And this video is going to be geared more towards new people in the industry, primarily towards IT and cybersecurity. I had a couple comments on other videos about strategies for finding remote work or doing kind of remote career paths. So I thought I would just make a quick video answer to it in hopes that it would kind of benefit other people as well. I've worked a couple of remote jobs myself, but they didn't start out remote. I, I was working Working like on-prem and then our global incident happened and then both my jobs became remote so I've never like searched for a remote job like on purpose but I have a pretty good idea of how I would personally go about it so yeah let's just uh, get started as far as like job hunting for remote jobs, um, I kind of did some research before I even started this video just to see, you know, if there are any like really good websites. And I found like really specific ones like we work remotely and dynamite jobs and flex jobs. And I I, I went to those sites, but I, I feel for some reason, I didn't feel like the user experience was that good. So usually like probably what I would recommend is I would just go to Indeed, to be honest, and kind of start my search there and then employ these strategies slash tactics that I'm about to talk about. So I'll just like go there on my other monitor and we can kind of do it together. So I didn't think this was here before. Um, I'm not really sure, but if you go to Indeed, like there's in the location spot, now you can just like type remote and it will like only have remote jobs. So as I said, this video will be kind of more geared toward people who are like kind of relatively entry level for IT, like trying to find that like entry level job. So in addition to some like other things, I'll talk about like your resume and stuff later, but just for searching for jobs, for instance, I would like to be honest, I would just like for the location just like put remote and then for this location too i think you can set remote and i think it will properly filter i'll set this to remote set this to remote just to, for the initial search you can type things like support for example just for instance just to kind of like eyeball some of these things and you can kind of see some see some jobs here this way and some of these are pretty reasonable looking entry level jobs for me personally when i'm trying to break into like a new field or i'm trying to get new experience that i didn't have before i tend to like sacrifice a lot of other things just so i can kind of get that first job so like what I would do if I was like really trying to get into IT and I like really wanted to get experience like now I would search like in conjunction with support I might search something like uh, shift like either shift or like third shift or something like this kind of find a job that might be like kind of off hours so I might type something like support night shift for, for instance. And I'll just like look at the first one, for example, and I'll just do control F shift and see like what comes out of here during shifts, 10 hour shift and it's night shift. This is like really quite bad pay to be honest. So this, this might be like something that's like less competitive because first of all, it's night shift. And second of all, the pay is like, it's quite bad, but the chances are, chances are this job will probably respond to you like more readily than some of the other desired jobs. You can kind of even see like up here, it says responded to 51 to 74% of applicants in the past 30 days, typically within 10 days. This means like this job like looks relatively bad, but they're more likely to like respond to you. So for me, like once you have like experience, I'm not telling you to like apply to this job necessarily, but for me, like once once you have experience in doing something, it's like way easier to make lateral moves and, and do the same thing. Like people will, like more readily hire you if you kind of like already have experience. So this might be something to consider, you know, if you're like brand new and you're like, how do I get into IT? You can kind of square your resume in the way I'm, I'm about to talk about like after for this section and then just like apply to this and just start working. And then while you're working, you can just take your time and get like a cert or something and then kind of be applying for better jobs and be like more picky about it. So that's like one one job that, you know, might be might be worth looking at. These are all like this is another one that's like quite bad, right? But if you're like entry entry level and might be, you know, something you're willing to like sacrifice that initial salary for to get some actual like work experience. Also, like another thing you can search is like knock night or maybe even sock actually there's like Knox, like network operation center and sock like security operation center and those like really often require someone to be working like overnight like they they need like 24-hour support so we can start with like sock and just search like night shift and then make sure the you know the location is remote and we see like some we see like a sock analyst so i can like check this out urgently hiring it says up to 50 dollars an hour i don't know like what this means but anyways uh, day shift night shift weekend availability which is pretty you know makes it makes sense because a sock needs to be running all the time do you have experience with any of these things coincidentally i just released an azure sentinel video so you know check that out and then put that on your resume and apply to this if you want to so we can kind of look through here 
senior information security engineer, maybe if you're mid-level, right, you have to work night shift. There's probably there's probably less competition for night jobs because like no one typically wants to work this. I know there's like people watching this right now who are like, yeah, but I don't want to work nights. And like, that, that's why you have like a, a higher chance to like get these jobs, get the experience, and then move laterally like into a day job or something like this. Yeah, mid-level VSOC analyst, IT security analyst. Uh, we can look at this one. 24 seven nights and weekends can be performed remotely. This job is remote anyway. Some other search terms, maybe you can do like knock night shift. Let's just see what comes out. Knock operator. And there's all kinds of like crazy shifts, like knocks and socks have like weird shifts. And there's a lot of these are remote now. So here's another one, for example, this, this pay looks like quite bad on this and it's remote, but you know, you can get that experience and it's better to get experience and be like kind of working and get experience for like three months rather than like, you know, being jobless and just like job hunting for three months it's way better uh, again you know i'm not necessarily telling you to apply for crap jobs but i'm just saying well, i must be willing to work shifts and participate in on-call rotations yeah this sounds like it sucks and the pay is low which means it's a you know higher chance for you to get hired and like interviewed and all that so i'll like leave this to you search for knock search for sock search for remote only search for like shift work and like overnight and third I think it's called third shift third shift it service desk remote help desk entry level tech support. This is absolutely awful. $12 an hour. This is so bad. Junior IT support. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is so, this is so awful. Look, Sunday to Thursday, 6.30 PM to 3.30 AM. That's, those are like the worst possible hours. But because of that, it's going to be less in demand and you can like take advantage of that, get some experience and kind of advance, uh, advance your career. That's kind of the general strategy. Like if you want to break into something, you, you should do the things that people generally don't want to do in that field. And it's going to like you know, ultimately help you or at least accelerate your, your career a little bit. And the second part of this video to kind of help you like with your resume and like properly apply to a job once you find a good one. Um, there's a bunch of videos I made that are kind of dedicated to this, but this particular one, this, uh, how to get IT experience without a job, this will be really good. And it will kind of help you with your resume if you don't have one. So like what I would recommend doing is I would watch this video anyways, um, cause I kind of talk about different things you can do to put experience to make experience for, your, for yourself for certain things and like kind of put them on your resume. You can kind of use this sample resume to polish yours up a little bit if you feel like it needs it. If you want to like learn Active Directory or some skill that you don't already have, I have a bunch of videos that kind of go through like labs and do things that you can kind of practice to get experience and then kind of subsequently put them on your resume, like put something like this on your resume just to kind of help a little bit. So basically I would watch this video and then I would also watch this uh, how to get a job in IT easy video. And then just kind of take the things you learned in both of those videos and this video kind of take all those things together and just start applying to, to jobs. There's no real reason to wait until you have a cert or anything like this. You can just kind of watch the videos, square your resume away. Maybe it takes like a day or something and then just start applying to jobs. Of course, I want to say like you don't have to necessarily sell yourself short and get like a job that pays like $18 an hour or $17 an hour. It just kind of depends like on the approach you want to use to get experience because you can you can definitely, you know, gen generate the good experience for yourself like through projects and doing like more advanced things and you can more than likely if you do it enough you'll, you'll be able to get like a higher tier job or something um it just kind of depends on like what you want to do if you want to get like a like an actual job like soon you know it's it's relatively it, it's more easy to get the jobs that that tend to like suck if you want to get that kind of experience under your belt immediately and like start getting at least some money this is just like an alternative strategy to kind of building up experience on your own and maybe applying to like a position that is possibly better or, or pays a little bit bit more just like you know another option i guess but yeah i hope you found this useful i'd be super interested to know if anyone watched this and then they were like man why didn't you mention this resource for remote jobs like you know mention it mention it in the comments uh, and i might pin it right so so people can see because i don't have that much uh, i'm not like a super remote job finding person like i know how to like look for them on, on in on deed and like be strategic about it but maybe there's like other resources i don't know about or something so let me know in the comments or if you have any other criticism or anything you know let me know I read all the comments and definitely respond to all of them. But yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it a lot. Getting pretty close to 10K. I'm trying to get there in November. I also have a Patreon as well if you feel like supporting me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.